Good morning, guys. It is a new beautiful day and I just woke up and I wanted to vent to you guys about what happened yesterday. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I had to pick up Maxi from school early because um, they had like an email sent over to over a hundred schools in Southern California um, mentioning that there was some type of threat and that it was an email that apparently was sent to also students in Europe. Um, so they were trying to just figure out if there was like any correlation between that, but um, they ended up sending another email that it had nothing to like basically it was nothing to worry about but obviously in situations like this it makes you feel even more uneasy i already had felt some type of way about just sending my kids to school but i feel like i'm also 50 50 because i'm like i don't want to not have them get the school experience and if you guys remember, I had mentioned to you guys that my original plan was actually to send them to public school. And then when I ended up putting them in a private school, well, when I put Max, because Camila still doesn't go to school yet, um, they didn't accept Camila in the school. But it was such a good school that I was willing to not send Camila to get Max into the school and um, in the future add Camila in there. So, like I said, I still think it's a great school. And I don't think it has anything to do with the school itself, you know, it's just It doesn't matter whether they're in public school, private school, like small schools, big schools, like this is happening everywhere And that's what's so scary that um, We have that fear that we're sending our kids off to school and it's like you're thinking they're safe there and in reality They're not, you know, so I'm gonna share with you guys um not too long ago in the school when we first enrolled max it was his first week of school and we had the school get vandalized and it was very very scary like it was vandalized they broke like over like 20 windows they um like sprayed a bunch of stuff on the ground like they ripped up stuff they broke the tvs they they vandalized the whole school and the school is a really small school so they did a lot of damage in a very small period of time and when that happened we were so scared because it felt very targeted and that's when i told ulysses that i had the first idea like oh my god like should we just um homeschool max you know so we didn't send him to school that remainder of the week and it was just so confusing that i was like what do i do like i genuinely just feel so confused and I'm, I'm venting to you guys right now in like hopes that some of you guys can just share you know if anything like this has happened to you guys recently or if you guys homeschool your kids so i could just kind of get a little bit of reassurance i feel like i always treat you guys like you guys are my friends and i know that i'm not alone when i go through these things and that's why i feel like i'm so open with a lot of the things that do happen in my life because i want to be able to you know have people to relate to going through the same situations and um, i already know as a mom you know that's already a feeling whether things like this are happening or not it's already a scary feeling so i don't know guys i'm just so scared and i feel like i can't believe this you know we're blessed enough to be able to have the resources to be able to really fund our kids education if we need to so it's like why are we not doing those things you know like why are we not being more careful about what we're doing with the kids and then like i thought about homeschooling but then i'm scared that like i'm not going to give 
you know, Max and Camila, not the proper education because I know that there's so many kids who are homeschooled and it's great, but I'm talking about like, they're not really engaging with other kids, like social skills, all that stuff. So those are like my worries, you know, like I just don't ever want to feel like I'm making the wrong decision, but my gut right now is definitely not for school right now. And I don't know. And then I'm, oh, I always get into my head too, like am I just overreacting? Like am I just overthinking it because I'm always so quick to like make drastic choices in my life. But I don't know. After the first time that the school was vandalized, um, I was really scared because it did feel, like I said, very targeted based on what happened. And um, now this situation happened. So I'm thinking just overall maybe checking my options i didn't send max to school today either um a few of my friends that have their kids in schools um like near me and in the LA area have the same um encounter the same notice and all that stuff so they were also not going to be sending their kids to school so i was like let me just give myself at least a day to figure out my life and figure out my thought process stressful day yesterday but today we have a very busy day um, a lot go is going on this week because my niece's quinceanera is also on saturday so realistically speaking i actually even thought about just heading to stockton for a few days and just pulling the kids out of school or pulling max out of school um I'm just going to Stockton for a few days and just kind of like clearing my head and getting ready for the party but part of me also thinks I'm being impulsive too right now so I'm just trying to I'm just trying to like breathe through this whole situation because it's a lot it's it's really a lot um but on Saturdays my niece is 15 she's gonna be turning 15 it's my niece Alexa um, her quinceanera is happening this week and for those of you who are asking about Jaylene's quince, which I haven't updated you guys on um, We're planning her quinceanera for uh, March, so March is her quince and Alexa's is this Saturday So for those of you who don't know who my niece Alexa is, it is Yvette, my niece little Yvette's little sister And I'm actually la madrina de sorpresa, the um, one that's going to be giving the regalo de sorpresa So I'm already like trying to figure out for that situation and then i do have to go at least a day early to stockton to meet with the decorations girl so we can figure out all of the things we're doing for the quince like there's a lot of stuff that i've been doing like out here that i really really wish i was in stockton for right now because a lot of things need to get taken care of and uh, my sister she works all week so i need to make sure that i'm on top of like taking care of whatever i need to take care of um for her so yeah, that's where we're at. So her is on Saturday. We just went to Los Callejones and I got myself my dress. I'm probably going to take my mom tomorrow to go get her dress. And then Luisa's got his suit. I cannot wait for you guys to see what we're wearing. And then Camila is the mini quince. So her dress is just, it's just everything. Um, so yeah, we have a lot. We have a lot of... Yes? You going to show me something? Let's go do your hair. Come on. I need, I know, curl it. Curl it? Yeah. No, we're gonna put it up in a ponytail. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. put it up. It has to be fast, we have to leave in 20 minutes. Not 20 minutes. <laughs> Hi guys, boink. 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 Oop. I need to grab your stuff. Mommy, Mommy I, wanna, I wanna pink ribbon. You want a pink ribbon? Yeah, my favorite.
I can. You like it? Yeah. You look pretty? Yeah. Hold it. You know where we're going? We're going to Jubilee. Mm hmm. I can do this. Ah! We just purchased a new leg press. And oh my god, guys. My legs are so sore. Oh! My freaking jeans ripped. This is why I need to go on a diet. Um, two days ago was my other cousin's quince and we were in Bakersfield and we were there for a couple of hours and I got a notification on my phone that there was an air tag near me. That there was an air tag near me and it shows it shows the hall that i was at where we were parked so it shows that we were parked here and then i can't i can't show you guys where it's at right now but it followed me home and you can see the red little dot like following us through the freeway like i'm my panza You can see the little red light from Bakersfield following us all the way home to the to the grapevine, like through the grapevine, all the way to my house. And for some reason, it doesn't let me play a sound. Like it doesn't let me click a sound. And the air tag is literally just chilling on top of my house. Like it's just on top of my house. Um we have not been able to find the air tag. Um, I looked through all my bags. We looked through all the cars. We took the cars out on a drive and none of the cars are moving anymore like with the air tag. So we honestly have no idea where the freaking air tag came from. All the things that could have been happening that happened <laughs> this just these two days my goodness gracious i'm like i'm like what is happening guys i was just at the warehouse getting some work done i'm gonna go get a salad from porto's and i'm so sad today like i don't know why i just can't break myself out of this funk right now like ugh. I don't know if I'm just like feeling overwhelmed, but I can't concentrate. Like I'm trying to get stuff done for the week because I have such a busy week. I just talked to this, like the homeschooling thing for Max and Camila to see if I could get like an at home tutor to come three times a week. really didn't get very much information i need to like clear my head because my life needs a hundred percent of my attention right now and i have no time to have a bad day so maybe a salad from portos will make me happy and i haven't really been eating very well either because Luis has me on a diet with him <laughs> so i'm like, extra cranky right now i have a photo shoot on thursday the Erbede concert tomorrow which I haven't even got my outfit for so I need to go shopping right now on Amazon so they can overnight it for me but I have the Erbede concert tomorrow and then I have which I wasn't even thinking about canceling to be honest because I felt like I just had so much going on that I had no time for fun but I'm really excited though for my photo shoot on Thursday guys I have a photo shoot on Thursday and it's for a new EXO Cosmetics product coming out and you guys are gonna be super super excited for the promo around it like it's pretty iconic I'm not gonna even lie I'm doing just something super cute and I cannot wait for you guys to see 
what oh, I probably believe this one. is we're doing a little bit of a reshoot because when I did my first scenes of that video um when I did the first scenes I had just gotten my lips done guys and I told you guys they fucked me up so my video oh my god I just looked so 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 swollen it looks like I got stung by a bee I'm I already knew that you guys were gonna fucking roast me based off of my freaking lips because they were so botched that I was like yeah absolutely no we're not doing this we saved some clips so you'll probably see the difference from like the old clips and the new clips but we're doing a little bit of a reshoot for some of the clips for the promo and um I'm excited to see just what the difference looks like now that I have like nothing on my lips but the product that we are launching for this specific campaign it's very fresh so I feel like I need it to have a very fresh look to me so I'm excited to see just how everything looks thinking about right now is how bomb my salad you can see my nips how bomb my salad is going to be from Porto's and it's making me really extra happy right now because I love why is this seat so long? It's because Elise's is there we go. Elise's is tall, so I'm like a little bit at the bottom. And here is the goods. Ooh, somebody left me a love note. <laughs> I don't know who parked here, but they parked so close. up my I just picked up my salad and I actually just ran into one of my followers right now and she was telling me that she had obviously been having a really bad week because her mom just passed away and I'm just here thinking about how I'm over here like complaining over having a bad day and a bad moment not realizing that there's people out there literally going through horrible situations right now and here i am not being able to get myself out of a funk because i'm just having a bad day and i was just so sad for her i was just so sad sometimes maybe things like that like maybe i needed to talk to her right now to realize that I needed to get myself out of this little moment that I was having, but she was just so sweet. She was with her niece and she was just kind of like chatting with me and stuff, but I gave her like a million hugs, <laughs> literally gave her a million hugs. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to the warehouse back so I can eat my salad. Um, one of the works girls that work at Porto's also mentioned to me that we can ask for our salad um, tossed and uh, the chicken cut, like chopped, chopped and tossed. So now I always do that, but they always give me a, a little bit, they always give me a little bit of a hard time. Like they're always like, um, let me check if we can do that. And I'm like, please. <laughs> Can you just chop it and shake it for me? <laughs> but look at how bomb she looks. My mouth is watering as we speak. So shout out to the girl who said that I could do that because I haven't been able to stop doing it since. It took a chillion, my chillion years. Lisa didn't bless you with a haircut? No, I decided to do that. The website's ready. If you want to post it on your story, whatever you want to do. Because I know you have your stuff dropping, so it's going to interfere, like, if we don't do it now. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go upstairs because you guys are too crazy. Is this is really mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does she look different? Yeah. Do you have a lot of makeup on? What about mommy? Is that me? Come on, let's go upstairs. Does that look like me or does that look Photoshop too? It looks like you. Did Hold you on. just learn how to snap? Yeah. Because he's been doing it all day. <laughs> at school, I've seen it. I don't know. Are they snapping at you at school? Did my teacher 
My teacher. <laughs> Your teacher what? Mm. You could tell me. You guys want to come upstairs? They, they teach yeah. me how to snap. Come they taught you how to snap? Come in, mommy, come does she does your teacher snap? Uh, yeah. Does she go, hurry up, Max? Does she do that? Yeah. No, she just taught you how to snap for fun? Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's mom. She's yeah. different. She's Let me different. see how mom looks that's different. What is everyone saying? Because she's wearing makeup. Oh, mom, not you. Not me. They call me mommy. Yeah. They call my mom, mom. That's crazy. That's exactly like what we did. You guys call yeah, each other mommy? Yeah, it's different. Mom, and we call our grandma mom and call our actual mother's mommy instead. Oh, okay. Mommy, yeah. what's that? She was a, she was a young grandma. She <laughs> feel like an actual grandma. <laughs> We're going to get people, like how are they going to shop our boxes, oh, basically? What boxes? It's our oh, kind of like how it is. I think what me and Tasha are saying is there could be a sample ground. for one thing so they could see and touch, grab, that's it, and then the rest is just a grab and go. Are we going to have people standing? Our line, we could put them against this wall so they have shade. So we could start the line against that wall and lead them that way. Okay. Tons of parking. Then you guys come inside. Um, look for this door. <laughs> wow. Anyway, you come inside, and then the first spot, the first thing that'll be here is all of Blanca's closet stuff. So okay. we're gonna reorganize this, which is where we should concentrate now. Clothes, bags, shoes, and Blanca herself in here. Intr like saying hi to you guys, but then also helping you shop her stuff. It's really then small in here. We come in here, we pass the other CEO. All these doors will be closed, and then you come into the warehouse. <laughs> so then you come and then obviously this is where it's beneficial because if you're shopping they can just grab from the box and go grab from the box and go and we can give out a basket such as this or bag sorry this is my only example and they can fill it and then they pay before they leave out that door or the door. I even think too technically like on the top one we can put a box that's going to be less grabbed so for example you're so tall. We should we should use you in the warehouse more often. Cut a hole, and then this is all XL, medium. I mean, we can even have two of the popular ones, like medium and small, and then extra small. So that way, like, it's all cohesive. So that way, if they're getting this, all they're looking for is their size. Okay, guys, so the date is officially set for our warehouse sale. It's going to be on October 29th. Um, we are going to be here from 12 to 4. So we're basically trying to figure out how the sale is going to go. So we are going to be um running everything through the inside of the warehouse to just ensure that everybody sees everything that we do have but we have um aguascalientes yes sonora we have some of the colored t-shirts sinaloa medium it's a lot of miscellaneous stuff and then we have some of like the older act of faith stuff getting you guys ready for Christmas. We do have some that are going to be marked down. And and we are rebranding a lot of EXO cosmetics. So we have just like brushes we're going to be getting rid of. Our very first palette from EXO cosmetics will also be marked down. We have lashes. If you guys are going to be um giving makeup or anything stocking stuffers for christmas this is the time for you to come and stock up because we are getting rid of just our last batches of inventory that we have because of so many products coming in for exo cosmetics so we're just trying to um get rid of a lot of the stuff that unfortunately no longer is going to fit in here and just kind of like get back to the new stuff flowing in here so we have a few of Karina's lashes as well. We have a few PR boxes. We have a few PR boxes as well. We only have like a few left that you guys can get your hands on. And Karina and Yvette's collection was honestly one of my most proudest collection because it was my first collaboration. I love this picture by the way. And you guys get to two mirrors. Blenders, four blenders, four pairs of lashes, two glues, and some gems. Like, this is everything. If you guys are thinking about getting it for Christmas or anything like that, 
we have a few left as well as my collection i believe we only have like a hundred of these left and stored away that you'll be able to get your hands on and this is the only way you can actually get your hands on the leo baby that will know that leo baby and scorpio vibes will no longer well actually all three of these lip kits we are not um selling them anymore like we won't be making this formula or this color um our new stuff dropping in the future unfortunately don't have these shades so this is your last chance to get these actual lippies and then and my favorite palettes that come with shadows bronzers and highlights like how bomb are these guys so good so this is your chance to see it in person come say hi come by look at it in person i know sometimes people prefer to shop in person than online so this is your chance to come and test all of these goodies out exo cosmetics this is your one chance to get everything discounted, guys. Come shop. I feel like I just gave you guys so much. We did a whole lot of talking today, and I am so sorry that I started today's vlog just venting to you guys, but I feel like I normally don't share um, at the moment that things are happening. I kind of don't just talk to you guys about those things. I usually tell you, like, like guys, like, later, never, like, in the moment of when I'm dealing with something. Um never in the moment when i'm dealing with something so today it was a lot of venting but i appreciate you guys if you guys have made it this far <laughs> you made it this far i appreciate you guys um listening to me listening to me vent um so i gave you guys a whole lot of information so make sure you guys get all the info for the warehouse sale i really do hope that i get to meet a few of you guys out here i am going to be here most of the day from you know pretty much start to finish i am going to be also selling some stuff from my closet which i'm really excited about i've never done that before so i'm going to be bringing in a lot of designer bags that i have that now that i'm emptying out my closet the next video you guys are going to see me decluttering my whole closet i'm basically getting rid of everything so i'm going to get rid of a lot of really nice pieces that i've just worn that i unfortunately don't wear anymore as well as bags that i'm just not using at the moment so if you guys do want to come also just shop my closet you guys can come as well it's going to be that same day and we're going to have everything nice and set up we're going to have a dj as well as tacos for the day so it should be a whole lot of fun and more than anything just meeting you guys but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video like i said thank you guys so much for letting me pour out my problems today um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next one love you guys